Hey, welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, and we're at Luke chapter 19, and today verses 16 to 19. Last time, we, uh, the, Jesus, the, the king went to receive his kingdom, and he's come back now. And let's see what happens next. We're breaking this into three or four days here. All right, here we go. Then came the first, saying, Master, your mina has earned ten minas. And he said to him, Well done, good servant, because you were faithful in a very little, have authority over ten cities. And the second came, saying, Master, your mina has earned five minas. Likewise, he said to him, You also be over five cities. Okay, so let's back up for a minute. Yesterday morning, we saw that Jesus began this teaching, the the, the Guy goes into a far country to get his kingdom, and a group of people follow him. They're they're not willing. They hate him. They're not willing for to have him be the ruler over them. He sent they they go and send a group there. They don't prevail. He gets his kingdom. Now he comes back, and when he comes back, we had verse fifteen. He brings. He calls ten of his servants, and he gives them each some of his money to invest. You get ten. You get five. You get one, and away they go. And now he's calling them to account. What have you done with the goods I've given you? Hopefully you can see the setup here going on that uh, God gives to us a lot of gifts, a lot of opportunities, a lot of privileges, and he's going to expect a return on that, right? And so let's look at the first two. Uh, in the first two, he gives them they're the same case, really. He gives one guy 10. What happens? He invests those 10. He gets 10 more. He, when, when the master returns, he says, okay, you gave me 10. I've got 10 more. Uh, here it is. And so he says, okay, very good. You were tested, you know, on this, on this amount, and you came out, you, did, you were faithful. Now I'm going to put you in charge of 10 cities in my kingdom. Kaboom. Then we have the five, the five guy. He got five. He also was diligent. He invested. He, he labored. And he says, I've got the five you gave me, plus I've got five more. Hey, you know, you've done the right thing. You were faithful over five. Now I'm going to put you in rulership over five cities. So here's the, these two are rewarded. They did the right thing. They took what God gave them and they used it for God's purpose. They took what the king gave them and they used it for the king's purpose. But we translate that for us. We want to know what God's purpose is and then spend our energies getting there. All right. So we want to be like these, these first, first two guys. They were faithful servants. They did what they were asked to do. They did it abundantly. And a lot of us, you know, a lot of people were half-hearted. We, we, we live in the entitlement zone. We, we feel like we're supposed to be just handed everything, you know. Bring me the chocolate chip cookie. Bring it to me. I'm not even going to walk over there to get it. You put it in my hand. If somebody doesn't put it in our hand, we go berserk. We are a very lazy and entitled group today. Pretty, pretty scary stuff. Far away from the character of Jesus as portrayed in the gospel. So may, may we find a way to be a servant servant's attitude, and diligent in that service to the king. Let's pray about it. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for this uh, lesson. Uh, help us to be like the, the good, the faithful workers here who served their master well and were diligent about it. And of course, there was reward for that. So Lord, help us to serve your kingdom well. And uh, we'll, whatever you choose to give us, will be more than we've earned because we haven't earned anything. All of our goodness is because of the goodness of Jesus. Keep changing us, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, friend, may, may the Lord Jesus continue to change me and you today.